Hello and welcome to my 3 minute guide on how to use the Trade Skill Master add-on. Of course, in order to make use of this add-on, you will be required to download the Trade Skill Master add-on uh, on, for example, on uh, CurseForge. Now, this add-on also makes use of a program, and this program basically gives you or add in all the information about all the prices in your current realm. Hit the download button on top and uh, you should be good to go. Download and open the program. Make sure to log in and then you see this program. Uh, you will see a list with the databases you received. At the bottom you see SOD, that basically means the realm I play on, Season of Discovery. And it shows that I have received the database and my add-in is good to go on this realm. It could take up to an hour before you receive the database. So once you have received the database, you can go to the auction house and make use of the add-on. On the top right, you should see a green check mark. If this is green, then you're ready to go. If it's red, that means that you still haven't received the database on your realm. If it's still red, then you have to wait a little bit more. Now on the top left, you should see two groups, the base group and another group that I created myself. Those groups are item lists and the base group has every item in your realm in it. Click on the top right for TSM settings. You will be welcomed with a gold graph where you can see how much you have made. We are now going to talk about the two key points you need to understand in order to use this add-on. Click on groups on the top. Uh, a group is basically an item list and you, the default list is the base group. And the base group basically has all the items in your realm in that list that it has detected so far. I'm going to show you a quick demo on how to create your own list with any item. So you create your own list, you give it the name you want. Now I will show you on how to add an item to your just created list. So you click back on the base group because the base group has all the items in it. You search for your item, you select it, and then below... You select the list that you just created and add that item into that list. Now when you open that list, to the right of that list you will see the items within that list. Now click on the top right on operations. We are now going to talk about the second thing you need to understand in order to use this add-on. Operation basically means a rule on when you want to see an item. I have already created one uh, operation, but this is the default one. And the one below is the one I created myself. So the operation I wrote here, 100% DB market, basically means that whenever a market, uh, whenever an item is at 100% of its value, so the normal price, then I want to be notified about that item. Now below you will also be required to select the group you want to attach this operation, aka rule to. One more quick example, if you change this number in eight into 80%, it basically now means that you only want to be notified about items that are 80% their market value, so around 20% under their average value. Now you understand everything, and uh, everything is set up, uh, go back to groups, click on the list that you made, I will also link my list of items in the description. Uh, Click on operations and link the rule or operation that you just set up to the list you created. Now when you start the sniper or yeah, when now when you start the sniper, it basically uses the item list that you created. So it only focuses on these items and then notifies, notifies you based on the rule you created with operation. Well, apparently it took me four minutes now instead of three minutes to explain this but one more thing if you want to be notified whenever your sniper detects something on the rule you have given then go to settings click on browse slash sniper scroll down to sounds now pick a sound and that sound will be played whenever an item pops up i'm gonna put this back on 100 percent now if you have any more questions then let me know if you have any problems let me know and then this was another quick guide by PKE. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, hopefully everything was clear. And uh, take care and yeah, peace.